It's been a pretty busy week. Uh, last video uh, got Durant on a magazine with a pretty bad signature. I uh, went back the next day. It wasn't even worth updating again. Uh, got Durant again. If you can see the signature there. It's not even a K. It's just a squiggle. Uh, so his signature is gone pretty much. Uh, after that, the Clippers were in town, but I skipped out on the Clippers to go to Austin for all, South by Southwest. Uh, I was hanging out at the airport, <clears throat> saw Buster Rhymes, which I got him on a blank. We weren't expecting to see him. Uh, we were expecting to see Queen Latifah. So she signed it there. It's a, a 12 by 18 movie poster. And then after after we got her, we went to uh, a couple of other places. We were looking for Iggy Pop and uh, Queens of the Stone Age. And... Sean Lennon was supposed to be there. We didn't see them. We did find uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff. I forgot to take my CD with me, so I got him on a blank CD and framed it with the CD cover. So that worked out. Then we came back uh, Thursday during the day. Uh, I was running late, so I didn't get there for the Blazers practice when they left. I got there when they came back. When I got there, Damian Lillard was already signing, but I got there too late. He had already gone in by the time I was ready. Uh, he didn't sign going to the game, but I was able to get a couple other guys. Uh, Mason Plumley, rookie card. Uh, Gerald Henderson. Two from uh, Myers Leonard, including a rookie card. Um, then that same day, here in the Alamo Dome, they're doing a big league weekend over the weekend. Uh, the Royals and Rangers came in. They didn't really send that many good players, only maybe only two names from each team. Uh, but one of the ones they sent for the Royals was Salvador Perez. I'm not sure if you can see it there. Got to work on my lighting, the glare. Anyway, he signed it across right there. Uh... This is from that box break I did, the historic autographs with Bob Boone on the inside. Uh, got Salvador on it. Got two cat, gold glove catchers on there. I wanted to get Hosmer, but he said he would sign at the game, not at the hotel. But it's not possible for them to sign at the game because there's a 20-foot wall all the way around the, the field. So, yeah. And then I went to the game Friday night. And as soon as the game was over, we went to uh, another hotel to wait for the uh, Golden State Warriors to come in. Uh, it was started raining pretty bad, so nobody really wanted to sign. Clay Thompson came over and signed him, surprisingly. Uh, but uh, he didn't get to me because there was just way too many people. It was getting crazy. And then the next day, going to the game, there must have been 100 people out there for, the, for Curry. So Curry ignored everyone because there was just way too many. Uh, as soon as he left, the crowd left. There was maybe 20 people left for when Clay came out, so I was able to get him on this the jersey card I pulled out of hoops a while back, if you remember that box break. So this is actually the first NBA jersey card I've been able to get signed. I've gotten a couple signed from baseball players, but that's the first first one I've been able to get signed by an NBA player. So, And uh, that's it.